Once upon a time, we thought the world was flat. And by flat, I mean even, level, straight, linear. That was a concept that dominated our lives. Linear. A straight line between A and B. No branches, parallels, or bends. At least not in our current way of thinking. There's birth, then life, then death. Creation, use, destruction. Think of the cell phone. It has revolutionized the way we live and communicate. There are more operational cell phones on the planet than people. As the population increases, we'll only need more. This is BB. Hi. BB makes cell phones. How are most cell phones made, BB? Cell phones are made, they're used, and they're thrown away. See, linear. Manufacturing to disposal with application in between. And the average length of time someone uses their cell phone for <laughs> six to 12 months. Cell phones have loads of cool and expensive stuff inside them, and once you throw them in landfill, they're gone for a long, long time. So sure, you can recycle, but we're pretty bad at that. Here's a figure for you. In 2010, we in the US of A recycled about a quarter of our electronic waste. One quarter. But over half of the known elements on the planet go into the making of one of these. What's worse is that even if it's recycled, it's a pretty darn difficult job to get the cool stuff like gold back out of a cell phone or whatever. Let's ask a recycler. Ooh, here's one. My name is Anthony Borges and I'm a electronic waste recycler. Is it difficult to recycle cell phones today? Yes, it is. Uh, why is that, Anthony? Cell phones are manufactured for use, but not necessarily for reuse or recycling. Hmm. If our electronic recyclers in America find it difficult, imagine how it is in less developed countries. There are precious metals in there, folks. People are gonna try and get inside. The problem is that this and these are not designed to be recycled or repaired. You remember that linear thing? Well, this is a linear process. Creation, use, disposal, done deal. But there was this guy called Pythagoras. Yeah, the triangle guy from ancient Greece. He thought a round earth just made more sense. So flat became round. And people slowly overcame their fear of sailing over the edge of the world. Now, what if we took that idea and applied it to our economy? Instead of creation and destruction, we have creation, end of use, and creation all over again. A circular process, a closed loop of manufacturing. Imagine our whole economy was based upon this. A circular economy. Would that be possible? Yes. Who are you? I'm Chris Gunther with the Ellen MacArthur Foundation. What on earth is that? We're experts in the circular economy, and we work with people like these guys, and these guys, and these guys to accelerate the circular economy. Impressive. Thanks, Chris. Anything you'd like to add? We're currently wasting hundreds of billions of dollars of resources in the way we manufacture and use products. Hundreds of billions of dollars. So wouldn't it be great to not throw all this stuff away and make sure it lives for as long as it can to repair it, reuse it, recycle it? It would. But hey, it's one thing to have an idea. It's another to make it a reality. Do circular cell phones exist? This is the Netherlands. This is a Dutch person on a bike. These are Dutch people on a boat. There are lots of bikes and boats in Amsterdam. Oh, this is Amsterdam. It has a population of 800,000. More people go missing in America every year. And this is Bibi again. She's uh, in Amsterdam. We said hi already. What's with all the awards, Bibi? They're for our phone. And what's so special about your phone, Bibi? It's a fair phone. Hey, excuse me. It's a phone made with ethical values. Please elaborate. Well, that's a lot of BBs. Whoa, whoa. Let's go over those points one by one. 
we support responsible mining initiatives in conflict and high-risk areas such as the DRC. That's good. With our production partners, we improve working conditions for those people working on the assembly lines. Great. By designing a modular phone, we increase repairability and longevity. Awesome. We've set up a recycling program so we can get as many resources back into the system as possible. Well, uh, that all sounds very sensible. Yep, one big step in the direction of a circular economy. But there must be a catch. Uh, what, do you, what do you figure, Chris? There's no catch. Uh, it's possible. It's even probable. And there are organizations working to make it happen right now. Hmm. So, basically, circular is better. It would mean less of this, and ultimately less of this. Which means, I guess, less of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> circular thinking. It changed the world once before, it can change the world once again. Good beat, easy to dance to. I'd give it 10 out of 10. <laughs>